Hey everybody and welcome. Today we are here in Music City, Nashville, Tennessee, and we're getting ready to take you guys along with us to Miranda Lambert's restaurant called Casa Rosa. Lambert's Casa Rosa Cantina is right next to the Whiskey Bent Saloon. Right down here is Blake Shelton's Old Red. Over here is Luke Bryan's Restaurant and Bar. Over here is Jason Aldean's. And you can kind of get your bearings here if you're familiar with Nashville. Right down here is Bridgestone Arena, where the Nashville Predators play. There's a lot of country music awards that also take place in that arena. So this kind of gives you a bearing. It's almost midway right here on Lower Broadway, also known as the Honky Tonk Highway. Check this out guys, here on the elevator, we've got the Cowgirl Hall of Fame with Loretta Lynn, Patsy Cline, there's Dolly, Amy Lou Harris, and Tammy Wynette. Taking a look here at the menu at Casa Rosa, they have appetizers, they also have tacos, big plates, down here are the salads, fajitas, and the specials. We are here on a Friday. It is roughly about noon on a Friday, so here are the specials for Friday, but they also have Saturday and Sunday specials as well. And they also serve Coca-Cola products. And one thing that I thought was really cool was they also do have the option for the Mexican Coke and the Mexican Sprite in the bottle, which is $5 with no refills. Here is a look at the kids' menu here at Casa Rosa for kids 12 and under. They do have quesadillas, chicken tacos, beef tacos, chicken bites, nachos, and cheeseburgers. Another thing that's cool about this place, as soon as you sit down, they automatically bring out water before you even order your drink. And for the appetizers, we're going to get the sweet corn fritters, which are golden brown, sriracha, honey glaze with cojita cheese, scallions, and guacamole crema. And we also decided to go with the queso fundido, which is white cheese with shredded cheddar cheese. It also includes the corn chips. Now they do have spicy ground beef and scallion garnish that you can add on. However, since we had the boys with us, we asked if they could just have regular ground beef. So we're gonna get a non-spicy ground beef because our waitress did state that it may be a little too spicy for the boys. Another nice touch here, as you can see, they have roses at the table. How cool is that? All right, guys, here is the queso fundido. And take a look at that Parmesan on top, the scallions, the non-spicy beef. Here are the sweet corn fritters with the sweet racha honey glaze, that you can see right there. And don't forget that there's cojita cheese on top, scallions, and a guacamole crema sauce. And check it out, they put our chips in a big box. Looks great. Gentry and Henry are wasting no time going in. It's kind of like the Chipotle chips. Kind of like the Chipotle chips? Okay. Is it good? All right. Jennifer is going to try chips and queso fundido. Queso fundido. And right off the bat, these are like some of my favorite chips right here because they're like the thin and crispy with just a little bit of salt on them. So I'm excited to try them. bit of everything in this bite. Wow, there's so much flavor there. So you can smell just like our table right now. It smells so good with all this good food. 
but you've got the really light and crispy chip, and then you've got all the flavors of this bandito queso. You've got the cheese, the background of the peppers. It's not too spicy. It's like perfect for the whole family, so that's a good thing. And then the beef has a really, really good savory taste. And you've got the cotija cheese, which gives it a little bit of a light salt background, and then you've got the onion. So good. Brent just checked out the queso bandito. What do you think? Amazing. <laughs> Amazing. Uh, the seasoning that they use for it is just out of this world. Uh, I wouldn't know why you'd go spicy on that. It's got a very pleasant taste, a great blend between the cheese and, and whatever seasoning they use on that ground beef. It, to me, it prominently stands out on the forefront of that bite, and it was very delicious. But I want to try one of these now. And I'm going to try one here with just a little bit of guacamole crema, and then I'll try some with the dip. You can see the corn in there. You can see some green peppers. And by the way, the green peppers aren't crunchy. They're really cooked down. They're very soft. Didn't even notice the green peppers. I knew there was another flavor that was kind of layering in into this, but couldn't identify it until I opened it up. So delicious. I don't know if it needs any sauce, but I'm gonna try it with some sauce now. It's a little smoky. It's got a little spice on the back end too. <laughs> really good spice. It's it's hot. Gentry, what'd you get down there? Nachos with chicken. And by the way, the kids' meals are all ten dollars a piece, and it's two dollars to add chicken to any meal. Jennifer, what did you end up getting over there? And I know you're going to be sharing with Henry here. Yes, yeah, so Henry and I are going to be sharing the chicken fajitas, and this presentation just looks amazing. All this green-looking sauce on there. There's fresh mushrooms, green peppers, onions. It smells amazing. And then it also comes with everything you see here, the black beans. This is Casa Rosa rice. And then the pico de gallo and the sour cream and salad. And then you get a hot pack. These are piping hot of toasted tortillas. Right, looks delicious. All right, Brent, what did you get today? I ended up getting the Taco Dia Tacos, which is basically Berea Tacos. Now, I do not enjoy, personally, corn tortillas, so I asked if they could come in flour tortillas, and that's what I got. It looks delicious. All right, Jennifer, what do we have here? So I made me a pretty fajita here, and uh, I've already tasted a couple of the things individually. Like, I tasted the green chimichurri that's on here. So much flavor in all of this food that we've had. Even the mushrooms are like full of flavor and they're cooked perfectly. They're not mushy or anything. They have like a good bite to them. And uh, there's a good pico on there and some onions and peppers and sour cream. Fresh cilantro. That is so good. The chicken is marinated in like such a good flavor too. I mean, everything has a distinct individual flavor on here. This is a great restaurant. All right, I'm gonna show you guys the inside here. You got the cilantro, you've got the onion. And of course, right here is the Maria beef. You go ahead and dip it in the sauce. So Brent has an au jus that came with his Maria tacos. And that is the sauce basically that the meat is cooked in. It is so delicious, so tender. Um, I mean, it's just like it's straight out of a crock pot where it's got a lot of moisture to it, bursting with flavor. I'm gonna try it without the au jus. And you can tell the boys are enjoying the food as well. Look at their plates. Check out the fresh produce, guys. Final bill here came out to $87. We got two appetizers, tacadillo, the pollo fajitas, kids nachos with chicken added on. 87 bucks. So they also have a gift shop here at Casa Rosa. Here are some of the shirts that you can choose from. It's t-shirts, sweatshirts, tank tops. Right back here they've got some stickers. Luggage tags. Little koozies. Here's a little keychain for your boat even have hot sauce and the green chili sauce. Shot glasses and cups, tumblers. 
And for every cowgirl right here are some Casa Rosa's belt buckles. That was Miranda Lambert's Casa Rosa. Gentry, I know that you're really enjoying the Rick Astley that they're playing in the background, but what did you think of the restaurant? I gotta say, if you're really hungry, this is a place that you need to get the nachos. <laughs> that was a huge bowl of nachos. Yes. Especially for, well, it was $10 and then $2 to add on the chicken, but that was the size of an adult meal for sure. And Henry, there's a little pedal tavern going by here. If you've never seen one of these before, I'll zoom in. But they actually create the momentum by pedaling. And then, of course, there's someone in the front steering. Very common here in Nashville. Henry, what did you think about the food at Casa Rosa? Uh, it was good. We liked it. About the chips and dip. Well, it's good. <laughs> All right, and Jennifer. Dip. Uh, the queso fundido itself. Oh my gosh! And so many pl flavor profiles within that whole entire dip. Uh, so that's a great thing to try. And then those corn fritters is amazing um, the fajitas oh my goodness the fajitas were so good the chicken was marinated perfectly had really good flavor just on its own then you add that chimichurri which was that green herb kind of sauce on top of there and then you've got the all the layers to the fajitas. just amazing and our waitress she was so nice and we want to thank you so much for your great service and I have to say most of the time when I think of a country music singer's restaurant, because we've been to a lot of them, by the way, they're kind of gimmicky. The food is cheap, but very expensive and just not of high quality. The food here at Miranda Lambert's restaurant was high quality, delicious. Yes, it was expensive, but we're also right here in downtown Nashville. So there's a lot of things to consider when you're in downtown, you're on Broadway. It was very delicious. A lot of flavors going on. Another thing I want to say, we have been a Miranda Lambert fan for a very long time. We remember back 2002, 2003 when she was on Nashville Star and she was over at the Wild Horse Saloon on a TV show called Nashville Star and she won second place. We were a great big fan of her when she was on that show and then a couple years later when she actually got a major record deal. So big fans of Miranda Lambert, big fans of her food. Um, absolutely love downtown Nashville. We love Music City. And guys, if you're here in downtown Nashville, we recommend coming out here to Miranda Lambert's Casa Rosa. And by the way, they're getting ready to build one of these. They're actually in the process of building one of these in Gatlinburg. So if you're in Gatlinburg, Tennessee, you'll be able to enjoy Casa Rosa in Gatlinburg as well. Another fun fact, last one, and then we'll get ready to go here. Casa Rosa is the first ever female country music singer restaurant in downtown Nashville. All of the other singers' restaurants are all male, so I thought that was a really cool fact as well. And guys, we thank you so much for joining us here today in Nashville, Tennessee at Miranda Lambert's restaurant called Casa Rosa. And we sure do look forward to seeing you on the next episode of Every Day is Saturday. So taking a look here at the Country Music Hall of Fame walkway, here is Miranda Lambert's star. And another interesting story, I was actually here the day that Garth Brooks and Trisha Yearwood got their stars. Now, I have always been a lifelong fan of Garth Brooks and Trisha Yearwood and was actually able to meet them at their induction ceremony way back on September 10th of 2015. Remember, I got a, a really bad sunburn that day standing out in the sun. Of course, there was a tent that was set up right here. And, you know, all of the country music executives, of course, Garth Brooks and Trisha Yearwood, they were in the tent. And I was back here along this sidewalk just waiting out in the sun <laughs> for about three hours but it was well worth the, the way to be able to shake Garth Brooks's hand and Trisha Yearwood and they even had a brief conversation with just about every single person in line and in all there's probably about 2,000 people here lined all the way up down this sidewalk all the way back up to the hotel and uh, it was a really fun event. Right here is the queen of the mountains Dolly Parts. She was inducted on November 8th of 2009. And even the king of rock and roll was inducted here November 9th, 2008. I'd like to read up on that a little bit more to see if 
Priscilla was here or who was here to accept the star for Elvis. And Gentry is a huge Elvis fan. He always asks for Elvis radio when we're in the truck listening to XM radio. Now we did our outro here in front of the Country Music Hall of Fame and Museum. But right over here is the Nashville Convention Center. And then right on the other side here, we have Bridgestone Arena.